Good morning, everyone. Today, we are here at Aldi. We're going to go and check out some of the prices. We're going to check out some of the things you guys have asked about. We're also going to look at some storable items, some long-time shelf-stable items here at Aldi that hopefully we can find for cheap. We're going to check out some of the Aldi saver deals, anything we can do to save money and help you save money. Let's get to it. As soon as we come into Aldi here, checking out some of the cracker prices. Looks like nothing has really changed. Uh, goldfish crackers look like they come down a little bit. These were $4.28 last time I was here. Now $3.87. Got some of the cauliflower crackers here by Simply Nature, $2.99. Uh, baked cheese crackers here. People were comparing these to Cheez-Its. Uh, I don't think they're, I don't think they taste like Cheez-Its at all, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see, we got some almond flour crackers. $2.99. That's new. I haven't seen these. Yeah, somebody was asking about the Savorites six cracker assortment here. These are $4.19. That is up from the last time I've seen these. Uh, they were $3.78, I believe. $3.78, now $4.19. Everything's going up, guys. Everything. Hopefully something's come down here. Hoping to find some price decreases. Doesn't look like we're going to find it in the crackers today. I know last year these uh, wheat crackers and the golden round who people compare to Ritz crackers. These taste nothing like Ritz crackers. $2.49. $2.15 last year. Uh, one big thing is the saltine crackers. These were $1.29 and now they're $1.49. We saw at Walmart the great value, which was $1.32, I believe, is now $1.54 for a box. So a little cheaper than Walmart, but still, I will say these are pretty good and they're way cheaper than Nabisco. Now they've got the Benton's Danish Butter Cookies back in here. The big cans here, three dollars and forty-nine cents. Used to be two ninety-nine, but again, everything just seems to keep going up. They have a little bit of an Aldi Saver deal on these cream wafer rolls. Eh, you know, I got these the last time I was here. Did a little bit of a taste test. They're pretty good. They're okay. I don't. I don't know. Three ninety-nine seemed a little high for them, um, but it's a little. You're only saving about ten cents. Didn't try the chocolate ones. Tried the hazelnut. They're okay. Somebody was asking about vanilla wafers. Uh, we did try these. You know, they're not bad. They're not bad. They are the same 11 ounces as Nabisco, but Nabisco is $4 or higher pretty much everywhere else. Pretty ridiculous. I've seen these for $5 in some stores of the Nabisco brand. $2.39 for these. I will say I really like the Dollar Tree ones. Uh, you only get 7 ounces, but for $1.25, you can, for $2.50, you would get 14 ounces, so it'd be a little bit bigger than this, and only 10 cents more. Yeah, it looks like they raised their graham crackers back up. I don't know. They had a regular sticker of $1.49 on these, what the regular price was a little over a year ago. Not anymore. $1.89. Back up to $1.89 for the regular graham crackers, and the cinnamon ones still sitting at a high $1.95. Somebody a while back was asking about the salted pretzel show care. These are, I believe these are the individually wrapped. I think so. Not sure, but I'm going to try these. They haven't had these at our Aldi in a long time. $2.49 for this. Guilty pleasure. Yeah, I see my raisins went up. These were $1.39 for a six-pack box. I love these raisins. These are really good. I'm well stocked on them right now, though. Glad I bought them up when I did. $1.59 now, and I wanted to check out... Getting more comments on the honey roasted peanuts again. Uh, mostly of a shortage. You know, we saw it was pretty low at Meyer, but Kroger and Walmart seem to always have a good amount. I will say they are $2.29 here now, which is up from $1.95 of what they were a few months ago. But Aldi always seems to have them, and the honey roasted peanuts here, they are pretty good. I have noticed that a lot of the Southern Grove products here at Aldi have been going up in price. $5.89 now for the cashews. This used to be $4.99. Now the mixed nuts here is actually on an Aldi Saver deal for $4.39, regular price $4.99. And then their cocktail peanuts here, never had these, but they're $2.19, used to be $1.95, but still an okay price considering how much they've gone up at other places. I noticed the fruit and grain bars dropped in price here at Aldi. They did get up to $2.35. Now they're $2.09, so it's a strong leap from the $1.35 that these were a little over a year ago, but at least it came down a little bit. Someone had said they weren't able to find the 42-ounce canister of old-fashioned oats here at Aldi the other day. They got some here. Yes, they are $3.85. 
Uh, Aris has been 385 for a while. It, did, it was 389 and it dropped four cents. These were 249 a little over a year ago. And then we saw them disappear and they literally jumped a dollar before they even started getting them back in. We saw the stickers for 349, but they didn't even have any. But long after that, 385 is the regular price now. Some cereals have gone up a little bit, but I do have to say, considering how much they've gotten in regular grocery stores right now, prices still aren't too bad. We've seen some small price increases on like the crispy oats here. These were $1.45 uh, or $1.49 not that long ago, $1.65 now. They have the family size of crisp honey nut crispy oats, which I know a long time viewer on the channel says they buy these all the time. $2.65. I mean, you're going to pay... Uh, what six dollars pretty much anywhere for a family size box of honey nut cheerios so yeah let's see what the here's the large size box four dollars and 64 cents which really that looks like maybe a regular size box i don't know 15.4 ounces four dollars and 64 cents Jeez. i do feel like when we see bread jump up here at aldi it usually follows suit with walmart I know when we saw the bread jump up to $1.29, the white bread here, we saw Walmart bread jump up to $1.32 after being $1.10. So they try to, I guess, stay close in price comparison to a lot of uh, different Walmarts around. They try to keep the lowest price here at Aldi, but I don't know. It's getting harder and harder to do that these days. Check out some Aldi saver deals here. Get some stuff here we can save on. Got the red cherries here, $1.99 a pound. I got to say, those are huge. And they look delicious. They've got the green peppers here, three pack for a dollar ninety nine. They've got pints of blueberries, the Nature Right blueberries. These are delicious. Dollar uh, eighty nine for those, and then they have some organic zucchini here, dollar eighty nine per pound. Fifty nine cents a piece for these little tiny avocados. Not getting much there, but they have cantaloupe here, dollar ninety nine. Cantaloupe looks great. One thing that doesn't, and this didn't look too great the last time we were here, was the Sunset Tomatoes on the Vine. It is $1.94 for a 24-ounce pack, so that's a pretty good deal. But the ones we saw at Meyer, Meyer was $2.49 a pound, but I gotta say, they looked fantastic. Bright red, looked delicious. Someone was asking in an older video where we found the blueberry preserves that we had right here. These Simply Nature Organic Blueberry Preserves. Uh, $2.65, um, yeah, $2.65, this one is for the specially selected uh, raspberry fruit spread for $2.79. Somebody was saying they could not find the Berry Hill hazelnut spread. Now, we've gotten a lot of comments over the last couple years. This is just hard to get in sometimes, I guess. Still $2.45 here, and we had someone else say they couldn't find the big things of the Peanut Delight creamy peanut butter. They are $3.89 now. 389 but we're seeing peanut butters like Jif and uh, Peter Pan and Skippy go up in price. So I'm not too surprised that these have gone up. $1.79 for the smaller 16 ounce jars of the crunchy and creamy peanut delight peanut butter. We have seen the specially selected raw honey go up in price over the course of a year here. It is now $7.49. This used to be $6.38. Went up to $6.78. And the next price increase a few months ago was $7.49. Still really good honey and when you factor in how much honey really is these days, I guess this ain't so bad. But uh, it is really good honey, I will say that. Okay, so we had some comments on Gatorade and how expensive it's getting. It is. It's getting really expensive. $8.29 for one of these at Kroger. Kroger has these on sale right now. If you buy two uh, or more, you get them for $5.99. So that's a better deal even than this. But regular price, $6.48 here at Aldi. If you're at Aldi and just don't want to go to another store, uh... That's, you know, save gas. Gas going up too, guys. Uh, we're going to save that for a future video here. But gas looks like it's starting to skyrocket in price. I wanted to check out some of the tea and coffee here too. We have the Benner Lemon Iced Tea Mix. We get some comments on this. Three sixty nine. dollars Did that go up too? Didn't that used to be two ninety five? dollars Yeah. I don't know. They got some of the different Earl Grey chai tea. Uh, $1.19 for the green tea with the lemon and ginseng. Not too bad of a price. $1.79 here for the Earl Grey and chai tea. And the English breakfast tea, which we get a lot of comments on, uh, is on an Aldi Saver deal. $1.79 down from $1.85. Same as this one here. Wanted to check out some of the coffee here. They still have the 100% Colombian for $8.49. 
But the Beaumont Classic Roast went up here. This was $7.99, now $8.19. They still have the uh, Classic Decaf here in the smaller cans for $3.89. Look at this. Hot cocoa, 50 cents. Boom. Little bit of a deal on this uh, original coffee creamer that some people like here at Aldi. This is from the Barissimo. Uh, Aldi Saver deal, $2.15, down from $2.25. And then they have some of the French vanilla and hazelnut creamers here, $2.95 for a 10.2 to 15 ounce container. They do have the instant coffee, the decaf by Beaumont, but uh, $3.69. These used to be $2.95. Also, the Nest Cafe used to be $6.38. Now six sixty eight. They've been these prices for a little while, um, but just you know, making point of reference here. They have the Cafe Bustello here. This was three dollars and seventy six cents. Three dollars and seventy six cents for the longest time. Now three eighty five. Still an okay price. I like this because you can stack these up and put them away. So if ever there's a coffee shortage, this will last a long time. If you're wondering what some of my favorite Aldi coffees are, I like the Donut Shop blend, which they do have right here. And it's actually an Aldi Saver deal for $3.95. It's a good deal. It's good coffee right here. It's not the strongest, but it's got great flavor. Pretty good. Adventure Blend. What? What is this? Adventure Blend. The adventure is out there. I do like the Midnight Blend coffee. This is probably one of the only dark roast coffees that I like. To be fair, though, I haven't tried a ton. So we're going to be trying new coffees as we go along on the channel here. Wanted to point out they do have the Simply Nature Organic back in here. They didn't have this for a while. It's the Peru coffee and the Honduras coffee. Uh, it's a little bit of a saver deal. $5.95 down from $6.49. And they have some of these other, uh, this is Marissimo as well. Uh, some of the fair trade single or origin ground coffees here. $5.59 for these. A couple shortages we're expecting here in the next couple months. So, you know, when you're at the store and you find a good deal on it, you may want to buy up one or two if you need some extra um just you know keep that for what you will you know 219 for some flour here five pound bag of flour not too bad and then they have sugar here which is skyrocketed two dollars and 95 cents uh but now all of a sudden it's becoming uh the cheaper option again it's 299 at kroger 315 at meyer three dollars and 12 cents at walmart so yep i think uh i think aldi knew this was gonna happen Ooh, brown sugar went up these were $1.89, now $1.95 for the uh, white and light brown sugar. They don't have any dark brown sugar. I know that's the one everybody's looking for. Uh, they got some of the Zolka sugar here. This is $5.79, and that is six pounds. Looks like Tandel, their laundry detergent, is going up as well. Uh, $8.99 is going to be the regular price now. Regular price was $7.99 on this one right here. See where it's even got it covered up there, but now it's on sale for $7.99. So when that sale's over, it's going to be $8.99. Uh, and they do have some of their other Tandle laundry detergents. That, that one's really the most expensive. All the other ones, uh, like this one that's compared to Gain, this is $7.19. It's been that for a while. It used to be $6.99. Then they have the Tandle Concentrated Liquid Bleach, $4.09. I feel like that's a little expensive for bleach at Aldi. Well, it looks like pet food prices are going up here. I remember these pure being dog food here. This used to be $1.49 a can. $1.75. I believe it hit $1.69. Now $1.75. So the hard to tail packets here went up $0.04. Cents. These were $0.75 cents, um, and now $0.79. Cents. We were People were saying you can get two of these for the price of one of what you would pay at Kroger. Eventually that might be the case again, but $0.79 cents now. So we've been hearing that pet food has been going up. Um, it has. It has. Um, not so much. I mean, a little bit here at Aldi, I guess, for some of these packets. But these have gone up over the course of a year. Uh, these used to be $0.45. Cents. These were $0.38 cents well over a year ago. But now both of them are $0.59 cents a can. The big bags of the heart to tail dog food down here. Dry dog food, $12.49. It used to be $10.98. Uh, and it looks like the regular price of the cat litter now is going to be $6.19. 559 uh but used to be 499 it's been well over a year for that too but 559 is the oldie saver deal this week and then let's see okay we got the now the heart to tail dry cat food i know everybody was saying dry cat food's been going up in price it has i feel like we've a lot of people were just across the country theirs hadn't gone up yet we've been seeing at kroger that it's been going up like crazy 319 here 
for the hard to tail premium adult cat food here. 319, it did used to be 265, but you know, everything's going up, but still when you compare some of these prices to most grocery stores, it's still pretty cheap. Someone was asking me to check out some of the cooking spray prices here at Aldi. The last time we were here, they have some of the extra virgin olive oil spray, $2.99, and then they have the Carlini, uh, which is a lot more in there, $3.49 for that. And then they have the uh, Carlini canola or butter spray, cooking spray for $2.39. Got some of the organic coconut oil here, $5.85. And they have the Simply Nature one here. Uh, which they rarely have. This one must be pretty popular. $5.85 for that. And here's that grapeseed oil somebody was asking about. Uh, let's see, $4.49 for that. Non-GMO grapeseed oil. I know we got a few comments of some people saying that that was really bad for you. But I I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. And they're out of the Simply Nature 100% avocado oil. $6.79 for that. They have some of their other oils up here. Simply Nature Organic. Uh, virgin olive oil $5.29 and then they have the Carlini extra virgin olive oil $5.09 and again we had some longtime viewers that were mentioning that grapeseed oil so not really too sure might want to look it up for yourself somebody asked about it just wanted to point it out here um, but again I, I have no idea I, I've never used it personally uh, I don't know a lot about it so might just want to look that up one thing I do know is that Aldi has a lot of their spices still under a dollar 99 cents oh look at that stone milk crushed red for some reason crushed red pepper has been going up in price we saw the ones at Walmart that were a dollar 12 are now a dollar 44 so I don't know what's causing crushed red pepper to go up who knows if they even really need a reason these days but they do have a good amount of spices here still for 99 cents so we have really grown to love Aldi over the last couple years since we first started shopping here. Yes, we were late to the Aldi scene. Um, somebody was asking about these Northern Catch tuna salad packets. These are great. I like them, but they are a little pricey. $1.55 on an Aldi saver deal. $1.75 regular price. Now, we've gotten a lot of comments on the Northern Catch like tuna packets here. These have gone up too. $0.85 cents for these now. I will say they are really good though. Uh, and here we got the Chunk Chicken Breast by Brookdale. We love a lot of different Brookdale products here. Uh, let's see. Not sure what the... Okay, Best If Used by... Uh, 2026? June 17, 2026. So that'll last for a long time. Good to go on that. Probably last well beyond that. Um, we got a lot of their tuna now. 88 cents a can. And that is the tuna in water and the tuna in oil... Uh, it's 95 cents a can regular price now, but on an Aldi saver deal for 88 cents. Last year, these were one. Uh, the water was 77 cents, and the one in oil was 79 cents. So, gone up a little bit, still under a dollar. Yeah, little Vienna sausages keep going up in price though. These were 64 cents, now 68 cents. I bought them last year when they had. Uh, I bought a bunch of them when they were 50 cents a can. That was a good deal. They used to be 45 cents a can, but. I don't know. Everything's gone up. Brookdale corned beef here. Never tried this, but we got some good comments on it. Aldi Saver deal. $2.99 down from $3.19. They have the Hormel corned beef hash here. $5.34. Not a bad deal. Also, I wanted to say, uh, I did, the Libby's. Now, I have had the Libby's before. Those are $5.99 now. $5.99 for a can of corned beef for the same size can. So, keep that in mind. Looks like most of their canned fruits are still the same. I will say the pear slices uh, look like they've gone up. Those used to be $1.29, now $1.35. Um, that could be, you know, a lot of uh, produce has been going up in price around the states lately. So they've got the Simply Nature pinto beans here, the organic $1.16 a can. This huge thing of Dakota's pinto beans here, $1.49 a can. And then pretty much all of the other prices, uh, Dakota's Pride, uh, kidney beans here, 76 cents. Okay, see, not a lot of water in there. I give it a good shake. You know, it's like some people were saying a lot of a lot of Aldi canned goods have uh, is loaded down with water. And some of them, you know, I guess if you do the little shake like I do, yeah, see, not much water in that. Not much water in that. And those are 64 cents a can, guys. I like the Happy Harvest Vegetables. Not really a fan of the canned fruits, though. 
I know mushrooms here seem to keep going up in price just like everywhere else. $1.19 for the pieces and stem mushrooms here. But we saw this same exact thing. Is this a four ounce can? Look at that. Four ounce can. This at Kroger for the same exact thing. $1.99 a can. Let me know down in the comments what are some of your favorite Aldi canned goods. Uh, what are some of the best ones that you like to stock up on? I mean, they are a good price. Same price as Walmart right now, which I like the great value too. Let me Also, let me know which one you like better. Great value canned vegetables or Happy Harvest by Aldi canned vegetables. Well, look at this deal. This might only be our Aldi, but boy, look at these chicken wings. They look fantastic. $1.99 a pound. This is Purdue. Purdue chicken wings. Antibiotic free. $1.99 a pound on an Aldi saver deal. Look at this. Got the Never Any brand, right? They tricked me when I first started coming here. I thought that they never had any of this. Never Any ground bison. Somebody was asking about ground bison. 90% lean, $7.99. Yeah, that's a little pricey. Uh, but it is bison. You're going to pay a little more for it. Plus, with the prices of everything else, meat and everything going up, I mean, it's been crazy, guys. $7.99 for a pack of that. Hamburger has gone up a little bit here at Aldi, which kind of expected that. 73% uh, lean got down to $2.99 a pound. Now it's $3.59 a pound. So still an okay price with today's prices, but it's going up here too. Well, look at this. So all of these prices were $4.39 on these different Italian sausages and bratwurst and all these. All of them were $4.39. Look, you can even see one was cut out here. Some of them are on a $2.99 uh, savings deal some of them went down to 2.99 regular price so this is probably going to be the regular price on some of these now but like maybe they're changing off some of them like the hot italian sausage looks like the regular price is going to be 369 which is still lower than 439 so that's good but 2.99 that's that's a good deal this week i'm up the salmon fillets here the atlantic salmon side here Got it for $8.99 a pound. That's down from $9.79 a pound. $8.99 a pound was the price last year. So good that they're selling it for the price it was last year. I think I did mention this the last time we were at Aldi, but they have the biscuits here, the Bakehouse uh, Jumbo Buttermilk Biscuits. These were $1.54. Remember, these were $0.99 cents a little over a year ago, all day long. $1.75 now, so it's almost doubled in a year. It was $1.48 when they initially went up the first time. They went to $1.54. Now $1.75. So, I don't know. It's still cheaper than Pillsbury. But, I mean, even the regular price here on Pillsbury isn't bad. We've been seeing these go for three twenty anywhere from $3.29 uh, or $3.19 to $3.29 in some stores. I think they're still $3.15 at Meyer. I know they're $3.29 at Kroger. Uh, but, honestly, I like this brand better. It tastes more real. So they've got two pound bags of plums here for $3.49. Usually plums have been $2.99 a pound. We did see them on sale at Kroger yesterday for $0.99 cents a pound on a digital coupon. So you may want to check that out. They've got the Gala apples here, which honestly, these are probably my favorite to get anywhere. $2.99 for three pounds. These are always good. Never had a problem. A lot of taste to them, uh, which we can't say the same in a lot of other stores. I've bought apples from Meyer and Kroger, and they just don't taste as good as the ones here. And one of the best parts about it, really the best part is that they taste good, but $2.99 for three pounds. These are anywhere from $5.49 to $5.99 pretty much everywhere you go. Uh, they've got the three pound bags of Red Delicious apples still at $3.29. Pink Lady apples, three pounds for $3.89. It is nice seeing a place that has regular price mandarins here for $3.59 a bag for a three pound bag. These are usually $4.99 regular price pretty much everywhere. So $3.59, we even saw them for $4.99 at Walmart. We've seen lemons go up in price here too. They do have the two pound bags of lemons for $3.79. Um, I saw a three pound bag the other day for $6.99. I couldn't believe it. Uh, they've got the watermelons here still for $4.65. Same price as Walmart. Always give them a little knock. Oh, nope, nope. There you go. Listen for that hollow sound. Well, you know you get a good one. Well, it's about the best looking bananas I've seen at Aldi in a long time. Um, yeah, they look pretty good. And they're on a Aldi saver deal or clearance deal. 26 cents a pound. 26 cents a pound down from 46 cents a pound. Save a little bit. Organic bananas. Not much different than anywhere else. This is the Fife. The Fife brand of them here. Organic bananas, 66 cents a pound. 69 cents a pound pretty much everywhere else. So a little cheaper. Got the four pack of organic 
uh, avocados here for three dollars and thirty nine cents. They have these organic yellow potatoes here, twenty four ounces for three dollars and forty nine cents. Someone was saying these are really good. It does look like ten pound bags of potatoes. They go back up to five ninety nine here at Aldi. I gotta say, the bag we bought the other day, they were four nine or three ninety nine. They were on sale for three ninety nine, and they have been absolutely delicious. Another thing that never fails with Aldi here are the three pound bags of yellow onions for two dollars and nineteen cents. They are three fifty nine for a three pound bag at Kroger. Um, I gotta say, I like the little onions. I like the little ones because you know Jessica doesn't eat onions, so it's like it's only me. But I just feel like they're packed with a lot more flavor than the bigger ones. You can even smell them. They smell so good here. Uh, $2.19 for a three pound bag. I am loaded down on onions right now that I bought from the last time. So good to go on those for a while. They do have two pound uh, batches of red onions here for $2.19. The cheapest I've seen other than this has been Walmart for $2.38. Uh, I do believe that is the same as Kroger now. So I think Kroger is back down to $2.38 for two pounds. But I gotta say, these look really good. That looks like they got some strawberries here. Still $1.99 a pound. You do want to kind of search through and make sure you get a good batch here. That one right there looks pretty good. That one, not so much. But they got blackberries here. Six ounce pack for $2.19. Those have gone back up to $2.75 at Meyer. Again, we got some more blueberries here. Pints for $1.89. It's a good deal. Got some more of the red cherries down here. If you can't find a, a good batch up there, they've got cotton candy grapes for $5.99 per pound. $5.99 per pound. They're out of all the other grapes. Not too surprising. We've been hearing shortages of grapes lately. They've got some cauliflower here. This is dull cauliflower. Uh, $2.79. A lot of places have been $3.29. It's getting a little crowded over in the produce area, but I wanted to show you something I'm going to try here. These are the artisan lettuce heads. It comes with four artisan lettuce heads here. Um, looks fantastic. Got to have these with some of my salads here. I try a new uh, salad dressing. Well, it was a lot nicer when they had these for $1.49 for their different salad dressings here. It does look like the uh, Olive Garden one here went up too. These were $1.99, now $2.19. I call this the Olive Garden one. It's Tuscan Garden. I actually like this better than Olive Garden's dressing. I know that's hard to say, but uh, me and Jessica did a taste test on this a while back. Um, yeah, I kept picking this one, so I guess I like that one better. However, I'm going to try something new here. I uh, haven't had too many issues with Tuscan Garden. It is $1.89 for this, but I'm going to try the balsamic vinaigrette here. Don't have time to really go over all of the different toilet paper options, but I, I was walking through and I noticed this, uh, the Willow brand, $18.99 now. As a matter of fact, as I'm saying that, I think we went over this the last time, but this has continued to go down in price. We saw this get up to $22.99 like a year ago, which was ridiculous. Um, and then it had dropped to $20.99. It had sat there for the longest time. And then a couple months ago, it was $19.99, now $18.99. So it continues to drop in price. Uh, you know, you definitely want to check, like, the size. How much is that there? Let's see, 30 rolls, 1,593.8 total square feet. So I don't know what the square footage was last time. You got to watch for that these days. They might have taken some off of it. It, just at an eye's length here, it looks the same, but $18.99, that's a good deal. Wanted to check out some of their rice options here. They have these uh, earthly grain packets here. Been getting comments on these lately. They have the basmati, basmati, however you like to say it, jasmine rice here, $1.35 for these. Then they have the five pound bags of the specially selected jasmine rice for $5.59. Um, and then they have the earthly grains white rice here. Uh, three pound bag for two nineteen. So some okay prices here still on rice here at Aldi. We are expecting all rice to go up. Uh, but you know, we'll see what happens. Hopefully it stays us for a while. I wouldn't wait around to find out. If you find the stuff you like, make sure you stock up on a few. We definitely have some good options here at Aldi. Sorry, I was looking at these. They haven't had this one in a while. The red beans and rice here, earthly grains. Let me know down in the comments if you like this one. Dollar forty five a box. Okay, so I'm back from Aldi here. Wanted to try some of the artisan lettuce with the balsamic vinegar, vinaigrette. Got my uh, homegrown cherry tomato on there. I gotta say they're pretty delicious, but let's give this a shot. That is delicious, but when I put the tomato in there, I got mostly tomato flavor. So now I'm gonna try it with just the vinaigrette on the lettuce. 
Okay, so I feel like it needs something a little more. Uh, the dressing is good. The salad, the salad's great. Um, I feel like it needs like maybe some like maybe some sesame seeds or like some uh, I don't know. It needs something like some dried cranberries to go with the vinaigrette. Uh, the tomato. When I eat the tomato with it, the tomato kind of overpowers the flavor. Still really good though. Now we're gonna try the Shoker. Uh, salted pretzel bar and it's not the individually wrapped i know i said in the video uh that it was but it is not but here's the little pretzels okay so i don't know if i would buy that again but the pretzels are a little too much but i do like the salted chocolate aspect of it uh it's really good with the salt but yeah i feel like the pretzels are a little too much well, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, saw some prices go up, saw some prices go down. So hopefully we continue to see them trend in the right direction. But for the most part, great trip to Aldi. Love shopping at Aldi. Me and Jessica have grown to really love Aldi. And um, yeah, salad's delicious. Like I said, though, it needs a little something else. I don't know, maybe some raisins or some dried cranberries or something like that I think would pair really nicely with this. Uh, as far as the chocolate, I love sugar chocolate, but I don't know if I would get it with pretzels. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching the video today. I hope it helped. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.